little LiPo battery there connected to a awesome. regulator and also directly to the run cam split because that's got a wide input voltage range. The run cam's video output is going to this small VTX which is switchable up to 200 milliwatts. The power for that VTX is coming from the 5 volt regulator which is just going for convenience via the um, receiver since it's also powering the receiver that needs 5 volts too and then these the servers will be connected into this receiver as well because they also want 5 volts and that's it easy peasy the driver obviously has the two options of the head we can just pop that out there you can see they both fit in the same so we've got the the show head and the FPV head the driver himself fits on with the same he plugs into the same thing down here, which is a little uh, pin there. It's best to print this piece in um, PET, since the layers are in this direction. If you don't have very good adhesion or a bit of flexibility, that's going to break. Everything else I printed in ABS. Oops. Is the micro or mini servo which handles the driver steering wheel, and that's just a directly the uh, rudder goes there I've got a great big uh, fly sky receiver here if you can use a micro receiver you can make your life a lot easier but I don't have any modern uh, radio stuff the 5 volt regulator is soldered directly onto that just to save me some space and then the servers are also soldered on directly so that I don't have connectors all over the show just makes things easier for me and then those are both mixed the mixing is done on the transmitter then in the back here I've got the FPV gear this one's got the run cam uh, split version 2 so it can record HD on there which is nice and then there's a little 200 milliwatt transmitter here but again if you're really going small and simple and you don't actually need to record video then you could also use a integrated transmitted camera uh, here and probably save yourself a lot of hassles the tensioning of the tracks is done by loosening these screws and then moving these whole motor modules backwards and forwards there's uh, bearings in here and that's really all there is to it you can see in the other build video how the servos uh, horns which I've trimmed down fit into these drive cups effectively I'm actually replacing both of these with new motor modules soon or giving a different option so that you can use planetary gear motors and I think that's about it